This Pelican team is so deep. The Pelicans are so deep. Like, first off, dude, the Pelicans, Nanji Marshall, dropped 22. Jonas Valanciunas, I've said this before, he's a top 10 center in the NBA, even if you don't want to give him the credit that he rightfully deserves. But this game, CJ McCollum being the team's pseudo lead guard, it, he just showed tonight, hey, this is a team that without Brandon Ingram, without Zion Williamson, we can still win games. We're a good coach squad. We're deep. Okay, we are deep, and I think tonight was just a win that showed, yeah, the Pelicans are legit, and every game, I feel like every win, people still want to find a way to discredit them, and at this point, we got to say enough is enough, and I think this is a win that shows that, hey, this is a team that is a lot deeper than one might want to admit. And it all comes down to the fact that you got a guy, I know it's against the Pacers, but the Pacers are a legit team. And now the New Orleans Pelicans are 21 and 12. Not only Jonas Valanciunas and Marshall, but Jackson Hayes over the last few games, I feel like Jackson Hayes is like really, really starting to come alive and show who he is. Like over the last three games, he's averaging nine points. Career guy averaged eight points, but nine points. And just, I just feel like, like I've seen the last two games, my apology. Yeah, last two games we've seen him with the starting minutes. The guy's at 36 points, literally averaging 18 points a night and seven and a half rebounds with three assists and one and a half blocks in that time. Even though he had three blocks tonight in the other game, he didn't have any blocks. But still, over the last two games, Jackson Hayes has been a menace. And it just shows Jackson Hayes' potential. And then you also got Jose Alvarado doing his thing. He didn't have a huge scoring night. That was CJ McCollum. Then off the bench, you had Devontae Graham. Kira Lewis Jr. showed a little bit pop. Kira's coming back from an injury. So it's just this team. Drinking black coffee at 1 in the morning. Do we even have a Garrett Temple sighting? And then Willie Hernan Gomez, such a good rebounder. Who, like, another guy who probably, if he was on a, a different squad, he'd probably be, like, playing a bit more. But god damn, this is a really, really good team. And for me, it just comes down to, hey, we're seeing a squad that's just growing. And I think at the end of the day, we're just seeing how deep the the Pelicans truly are. And I think that's just something really fun to see. And with these injuries that they are, like tonight, again, without Zion Williamson and Brandon Ingram. They're still winning games. This is just Willie Green being a phenomenal coach. His coaching staff doing a great job. And Pelicans, yes, against the you're going to be like, oh, it's against the Pacers. The Pacers are actually formidable. For they didn't have Trey Murphy or Dyson Daniels or Herb Jones. Okay. Like, I just, it's getting crazy when EJ Liddell comes back. I really do enjoy watching this Pelican squad. You just see how good this team is. And look, I think, I don't know what, look, I think, I think it was awesome. I think it was awesome. Let me hear your thoughts down below. I think this was a game, a statement win, and we're just going to see more of this, okay? And oh, I'm done, guys. Like, comment, go check out the NBA show. And let me know any other thoughts you guys would like to have. But hey, that's it for me. I'm on peace out, A Town style. Thanks, guys. Love y'all. Seriously. Um, I'm a peace out. I'm done. This is the end of the video. Goodbye.